Hello everyone, this is the Commonwealth Realm and welcome to this special uh, State of the Realm discussion with the one and only Nintendo Box. I recently attended the GameStop Northern European Expo where I got to play known titles such as Star Fox Zero and Triforce Heroes. The first one which was recently delayed by uh, the creator Shigeru Miyamoto. So Makao, what do you think about the delay of Star Fox Zero? Honestly, at first I was a bit taken aback by it, I actually didn't expect it because although this game didn't look like it was ready to be released at E3, of course they had a bit of time left, I thought that they were going to be very on Nintendo with it and rush it out because that was kind of what they were voicing as their intention anyway, it was going to be a quick turnaround for this game. And uh, that always seemed to be the plan, it seems like it's a very recent thing that they've actually decided otherwise, unless they just to say that it was announced for a specific date. And and then push it back because they thought that might be better for PR but honestly now that I've had some time to stew on it I'm kind of really glad because it didn't look like it was ready to be finished and I'm just glad that eventually maybe we'll get a better game for it of course it is disappointing because now Nintendo's Christmas lineup is looking lackluster at best but from a gaming fans point of view I'm fine with it you know, I think that in the long term we'll be better off for the delay. Yeah, well, my impression of uh, Star Fox, especially uh, playing it last week, is that the game graphically is acceptable uh, on the Wii U. It isn't far from the most impressive visual performance we have seen on the console uh, to this point. Mario Kart, Super Smash Bros, even Bayonetta 2 look better, but the gameplay is incredibly fun. The gyro controls can be annoying and uh, it's a matter of getting used to them since you are basically pointing uh, or targeting with uh, with your gamepad so you don't look that much up on the uh, TV screen, but you have at least the option in terms of turning the gyro uh, controls off and just play with your regular control settings. So um, I can appreciate that uh, Gary Miyamoto and the development team decided to not force the gyroscope control upon us, though of course it is an advantage in this game since the enemy design is built for, for the gyro controls. At the same time, I must say that the delay is unexpected, but seen if from Nintendo's recent history where most titles have been delayed, such as Zelda Wii U, uh, Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze, I'm not really that surprised that we got a delay for this title and we all know Shigeru Miyamoto's philosophy. A delayed game will eventually be good while a rushed game will be bad forever. I think we should just trust the man and hopefully 2016 will bring us a lot of joy since this game looks to take the best of the essence of Star Fox 64, but I'm a little bit afraid that they are taking a little bit too much of the assets from Star Fox 64 instead of making a brand new Star Fox experience. Well, I think that personally from a visual standpoint it's nothing that's gonna knock anything out of the park, it's not amazing. I don't think it looks like a PS2 game like some people are saying because that seems like it's just the go-to phrase to say when a game doesn't look top-notch, like absolutely the best. But I do think that that's a fair sacrifice, and I'm actually glad they've kind of done it, because to uh, get the 60 frames per second that they're aiming for on two screens takes a lot. That is a technical achievement all by itself on the Wii U, and on any system, to be honest. So I'm prepared to take a little bit of a hit on the graphics, to get that. As far as it goes with the whole motion controls, I really enjoy motion controls in Splatoon. I'm, uh, you know, I'm lukewarm on motion controls. Sometimes it works for me, sometimes I'm not so keen. I like the option. It is good that they're giving us an option and that it's not going to be definite that you have to play with the motion controls, but as far as the delay goes, four months isn't that long, but I would like them to surprise us and actually come out with at least local multiplayer because I think that maybe this game could do with online multiplayer. I mean, come on, Star Fox Command on the DS had online multiplayer. So I think that this game should have online multiplayer. But if local multiplayer is the best we can do, and I do love local multiplayer, I believe in many cases, apart from possibly only RPGs, it is the best way to play games. Either of those two I would absolutely love and I think it's kind of a shambles that we'll get a Star Fox game that doesn't have multiplayer of any kind. Uh, I just don't think that the single player campaign is enough to warrant a £40, what is it, €60, Euro, $60 
investment into the game, at least at launch. Maybe it will become better after maybe they'll do a Splatoon deal or possibly when a price drop comes along, that'll be good. Honestly, this is a game I'm excited for, but I'm not over the moon about and I might actually see what reviews are before I pick up this game which is a bit odd for a Nintendo game that I'm relatively excited for. Usually I pre-order them. Yeah, I, I'm a big Star Fox fan and I'm looking really forward to a proper new installment after mediocre <laughs> installments such as Star Fox Command, Star Fox Adventures, and in some regards also Star Fox Assault. The thing is that I'm a little bit worried about this game is uh, whether it is a truly new Star Fox experience or just another reimagining of Star Fox 64 or the original Star Fox. I hope Nintendo could work it out so we just won't be playing the exact same map with the exact same ve vehicles which we had in Star Fox 64. But one thing I want to see return from Star Fox 64 was the branching gameplay. If you were able to achieve a specific objective in the level, you were sent on a different path, either a hard level or a medium level or an easy level. And I would like to see that because that was one of the great drawing points to Star Fox 64. And having just a linear Star Fox now would be a kind of disappointment, but it could be made up if they include an online or range mode, dogfight style, Top Gun style online mode. So. I think for this series, which is arguably one of the most narrative-heavy Nintendo series, you do need it to progress somewhat, and I think people would like to see the characters progress. It does worry me that they are straight up using lines from Star Fox 64 in dialogue, and uh, that is a problem I do have with the game. The delay of Star Fox 64 makes up for another big holiday title. Though it might not make the uh, Black Friday sales, Xenoblade Chronicles X. It has uh, been receiving glowing reviews in Japan, successor to uh, the brilliant Xenoblade Chronicles. So, do you believe this game could replace Star Fox? as the big holiday game. Well, this game, I am so excited for this game. I have been since I first saw the reveal trailer. I personally don't see it replacing Star Fox because I never had it in my head that Star Fox was a huge game this holiday. I think arguably it was the biggest release, but I think that's due to Nintendo having a poor holiday lineup. But I do see it replacing Zelda Wii U, and I've thought that for a little while now. I think that they're games that, while not while not the same, they, there's a lot of comparisons between those games, and it is a huge game. I don't think it will sell massively because I think it's a niche title, but I think for those hardcore set of fans, it is a great game. And these guys, Monolith Soft, who make it, are really talented. Xenoblade Chronicles, awesome game from what I've played through. I need to get around to finishing it. And the games before that, some were slightly troubled and a bit too ambitious for the time, like I believe uh, Xenosaga, but they are just very good and they are the best RPG makers that Nintendo have got. And I think that this game will be absolutely fantastic. It will have a lot of my time this whole day. That and also if you class digital titles, then I will be getting Fast Racing Neo this whole day. I got a chance to play Xenoblade Chronicles X and it's completely massive. Uh, the draw distance, the variety of uh, enemies, uh, the monsters, uh, the gameplay, it all looks uh, like a masterpiece to me. But from what I played in terms of controls, in terms of gameplay, I must say that this is a worthy replacement for most Nintendo titles. But of course, one title will still be missing, and that is Zelda Wii U. Um, Nintendo uh, sh should of course take as much time as possible working on this title, but there is another Zelda game coming out, Triforce Heroes, which I also had uh, luck to play. And this game is so entertaining. Uh, you have so much fun playing what I would call Triforce, Triforce Chaos instead of uh, Triforce Heroes, because playing this game locally, three people next to each other, is complete mess so i can't imagine when you'll be using pressing this icons on the 3ds touch screen to yell out commands to your uh, online buddies when playing this game online it'd be interesting to see how the first true online uh, zelda experience will fare in uh, in the holiday season on the nintendo 3ds i do think that a lot of people will have fun with that game it's not what i want from a zelda though 
I uh, like the dungeons in Zelda, and obviously that's a huge part of Zelda, but I wouldn't say it's the main reason I play, and I don't want a cooperative Zelda experience. I can't say I've ever had that, I never played any of the Four Swords games, and it's not something that appeals to me personally. So I won't be getting that game, but I do think that the functionality that is similar to what they did a lot on the DS, where you can have a download play of it, is very helpful because getting three people who have a copy of that game and are your friends, unless you're in this community as much as me and you, as much as you and I are, and uh, having two people online you can't play, which is a bit of a bummer, I must say. It's not the greatest thing, and I would have liked to see that implemented. But personally, I do think that this is a brilliant way for Nintendo to reuse the engine from Link Between Worlds and make a game relatively quickly. And using that Zelda IP, it's bound to sell well as well, because it is one of the big releases on 3DS this year. So when it comes to the Triforce Heroes, a thing I would like to point out is the suit up mechanic. When you just pick up different tunics, different suits, which have an effect on the gameplay in the given stage which you select with your online bodies. I think that this online uh, Zelda experience could also be built upon in future Zelda games because it's incredibly fun uh, cooperating with other people locally, but I'm a little bit uncertain how fun it will be cooperating let's say thousands of miles away from each other and just using the very simplified toolbox command box to cooperate with your with your bodies which are not even visible on the screen uh, all the time so the dungeons are of course uh, been built for this type of gameplay but at the same time some of the bosses are on a such a challenging level that if you're not able to cooperate perfectly and even through voice chat uh, which we experienced when playing it locally you still had a great challenge defeating or beating several of these bosses so i feel there will be a lot of troubles uh, for people when playing this game online but at least this will also have a single play mode since otherwise this game would have a rather short legacy if it just was an online multiplayer Zelda game. It's very different for Zelda actually, it's not including Zelda or Ganondorf from what I can tell, and the one thing that I would like to call them up for is that I honestly don't see why you can't play as a girl, but you can play as Link dressed up as a girl. Now personally I don't see anything wrong with Link dressed up as a girl, I just also think that maybe instead of having three links and specifying that it needed to be linked because it didn't really you could have had three uh, characters maybe one be link maybe one be azora and maybe one be goron or just uh, maybe have zelda in on the action it would be really interesting and not even from a kind of social justice warrior point of view but kind of just from somebody who likes to play games and likes variation i really thought it was cool that you could play zelda in hyrule warriors and that was pretty unanimous that that was cool. Everybody liked that. So I think that would have been a nice addition in this game. And I think it is a bit of a shame that we didn't get to see that in this game. Yeah, generally speaking about uh, Triforce Heroes and what you mentioned also about playing as different characters in Hybrid Warriors, I would like to see in a future Zelda game, if not Zelda with you, the possibility of playing as different characters. For instance, in Ocarina of Time you had Sheik who was following you the whole time. And being able to play some of sections of the game as those characters and then when you're done with that section you're sent back to the non-linear exploration experience so uh, yeah it will be interesting to see how the zelda uh, zelda triforce heroes will impact and of course higher warriors will impact the development of future zelda games but i think that they are trying to test the grounds in terms of what is acceptable uh, in a zelda game and what is not acceptable in a zelda game and that is positive because that is a sign that the franchise is evolving Thank you so much for joining in into this special State of the Realm discussion video uh, slash uh, hands-on impression video of Star Fox Zero and The Legend of Zelda Triforce Heroes. I was joined by Tendo Bog. Links to his channel are on the screen and in the description below. And uh, I also want to inform that I'm uh, still hard at work with uh, Andy of McIntyre Productions and Zelda Conqueror for the Zelda War video, which we are working on now. And it will be up on Tuesday the 6th of October. So look forward to that one. Until then, this was the Commonwealth Realm and Marco from Nintendo Box. And we will see you guys and girls later. Bye bye.